Hi guys, and today I'll be showing you how to make a yarn hat. So, I got this idea, well, I have a friend called Tyler, this has nothing to do with it, but I think you should really check him out, I like his content, it's quite inspiring, and he just teaches me a lot. So, let's get started. So, what you'll need, we need cardboard, just a, a toilet paper or a kitchen roll in cardboard. You will need some yarn, any colour really. And then you would also need scissors. So first, what you would do, you would take your yarn, if I can untangle mine, then you would fold it in half. And then you'd fold it in half again until it gets to about, let's see with the ruler, about, I would say until about 17 centimetres. And then you would just, so you would take it and then what you would do is you would take your scissors and you would cut and then on the other side you would cut cut and cut so i will be asked uh, answering some of your questions while i do this so while i sort this all out, all the colors out tyler asks how do you get a face cam on your gaming videos? So what I do, I use this app, MobaZen. It's quite helpful. So, yeah. It's what I use. You log in, and then what you do, it when you get onto the app, you press it, and then this little bubble will come out, come up. And that bubble then tells you, like, when you start recording, it tells you that you're going to start recording. It gives you face cam. It gives you basically everything you need. So that's how I do my gaming videos. And just in case, yes, I am allowed scissors. Soon I'll be doing a whole room tour. So enjoy. We'll be looking forward to that. If you want to know what my favourite type of music is, I listen to lots of K-pop. So, now that I have my yarn prepped, what you would do, you would take your roll and cut it to, let's see, just fold it to cut it. So, you'll unf I'll just see how many centimetres. You cut it, oh wait, you also need a roller. You will cut it at like a one centimetre width and then long it will just be how long that roll is. So once you have that, you would get a piece of yarn, you would fold it and then you would loop it through, as you see that. You would take this piece of string at the end Put it through, pull it, and then that's your first strand. So, what you should do, you could keep repeating this in the pattern you want. So, now I'm going to do blue and grey. So, yeah, this is a bit of a mixture, but I'll see you when it's done. Halfway done, half more to go. But first, I will be switching colours to this blue and grey, dark blue and light grey. So, before I get onto that, you'll want to make sure each of them are looped round once. Don't use two of these, like for example like this. Don't use two of them at the same time, because it'll just make it all bulky and it won't work. So. We'll just have to wait until it's done. I just wanted a hat. Almost finished. 
She don't have a son. Because I record at but night. We have the next best thing. Artificial light. I'm gonna try it here and you're gonna look and see if it... All finished. So now what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to flip it all inside out. And you'll take all the colours, make sure they're all facing the way you want to face them to face. Not and they're all straight, not bent. And then when you're done that, you would take a piece of string, you would put it there, and then you would tie it round like that. Tied, do double knot just to be safe. Then what you would do, you would trim off the top. And bam, all done. If you like this tutorial, please comment down below and I'll and I will do further more of these, like, in the meantime, it's later. So, in the meantime, I will be telling you about my friend, Tyler. So, Tyler just started his YouTube channel three days ago, and he's been a very good friend to me. And at Lovette Street... We are selling yarn hats, pom-poms, crochet bracelets, lots of things made out of yarn, maybe even yarn animals. So I hope maybe come by and I will see you next time. Bye cats!